Hello and welcome back to Endless Space 2. Welcome back to Indecision, Endless Indecision 2. So the problem I'm running into right now is I'm actually not quite sure what to do. I have some plans, but I am not particularly married to any of them, which is the problem. Oh, I was going to check the science. Okay, so let's see. We're gaining about 913 per turn, which means... 10% of that is ni about 90. Which of course means that I will get this much per turn. Because it's 10 turns. Right, what's the point of doing this science? Of course, I can't research a single technology in a single turn. So this gets me one turn worth of technology, or science. So we're going to take that. What did I get? I don't get to know until I finish this. Fine. Hmm. I think you can stick around for, for a little bit here. We are waiting on some business transaction to happen. I don't want to declare war on them yet. Trigger the migration population from miners to the closest one to your own. Does that do anything for me? Can I assist after this has happened? You know what? We're so close to this. I don't want to find that out right now. We're just going to go about our normal business and start to make some headways this direction. In the meantime, when we finish here, we'll also start to push in that direction. I think that's the next closest way direction for us to go. Okay, you're just... Let me move you back over here because then I want to merge him into a fleet that heads that, heads, heads that away. Gosh. Ten of twelve. One more. Almost there. Oh, hey. That belongs to somebody else, I think. Because it's at a different color. Yeah, I don't know. Don't care. So, let's see. What are we building in here? We're full, so let's go ahead with the colonization first. That's probably more important. The population growth is good, as long as I have more places for them to grow. Obvious statement of the century number five. So he's almost full too. So I'm also going to open up a settlement because there, once population growth starts, they don't stop. Interesting. Whoever Orange is, I want him dead. And my vine ships. So wait a minute, I can start vining here but not here? Well, might as well. I don't have anything else I'm doing. So okay, so I guess this connects over here to here. That's kind of weird. Well anyway, I can't complain. I can't, I can certainly complain. I will complain. Let me complain, damn it. But where are my vine ships? You're making me nervous. Cypher and Phantom. They have eight ships over in this territory. They don't seem to show any inclination for attacking me. Warm welcome, friend. We Riftborn begin to see the beauty in this universe. And I don't particularly care. Because right now, we are expanding one, two, three, four. We're expanding about the same pace. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So once he gets that, then we'll be even. And of course, I will be continuously expanding as well. That's going to be my central hub. Uh, and I don't think she will stop either. But it will be a nice race to see, uh, see what we can do. Let's call it a friendly rivalry. We'll keep doing this. Because what am I going to do with all of this influence? Yep. This has been an unexplained, unexplained, unexpected surprise. I hope he can see this. If I explore it and I haven't done map share with him, I hope he can see these guys exist because I don't want him to move over there.
That would be the literal definition of having your roses bloom on somebody else's vine. If we have more, let's do more. Hyperion, perfect. That makes this a much better system. So we're done. I'm also going to move him slowly in that direction. What do you want? Apparently nothing. This ship is almost here. So I think what I will do is I will park both set of ships here and then start vining this place. As soon as I start and finish vining this place, I'm going to send that ship over in that direction. No, that's no, that's a bad idea. We have to send both of these in this direction because I won't be able to make my ships from here to there. That's going to take forever and ever and ever. Maybe like seven or eight turns at least. No, it'll be more than that because there's no starlings here. So this will take four turns possibly 10 turns to get him over to this side, and then another 5 turns over. So 15 turns to get one ship to the other side, no good. I don't think I have anything else queued up, do I? No. Let's queue something else up, just for fun. This gives me desert. This gives me the ability to colonize desert. What is your favorite dessert to colonize? Cancel the negative of mixed. That's not too bad. I have a few mixed stuff. Okay, I have an idea. Wormholes are good. Wormholes will solve a lot of the problems that we're having, so we'll go with for that. I don't know why I decided that. I never thought about it, but I saw wormholes and I'm like, I have to do it. Done that. Yes. You can offer to help and they will provide a good portion of the resources. We'll keep doing this until it the universe ends. God damn it. I finally lost my ship. Good thing. Reinforcements are here. Let's fight again. I think this means I need to start upgrading my ships. Just building new ships is not going to cut it anymore. So let's do this. I am going to... Okay, can I split? Let's see, how do I split? I can't disband. I can select one of them and... Alright, let's see. Needle, needle, well. So I need a second well in there. So we'll take you. Make a new fleet. Merge this. Okay, perfect. Now I'm happy. I'm so happy. And what the heck is this? Uh... I... I don't like anything I'm seeing here. So that is a carver, or not a carver, a craver. And cravers, in case you haven't noticed, are assholes. So I think we have a slight change in our strategic objective. Unknown, so they don't, I don't think they, they have not seen us yet, right? That's what it means. Okay, you're a combat hero, so I need you to, to do your combat stuff. Plus 1% fleet per current radar on fleet. How many radars do we have? Four. Command points. That's what ra radars are. Interesting. <laughs> Good to know all these new found knowledge that I'm gaining from playing this game. I feel very enlightened. Let's go for that. I think I need that for at some point. So we'll, we'll start now and worry about it later. 
I hope my allies are ready, because they're probably going to be the first one getting hit by this. Though I don't, you know, I might be able to sneak in here and ignore them for a little bit. But to do that, I have to strengthen my fleets. So then that's my next objective is to start building up my fleet as a, as a defense mechanism. And maybe get a few more military technologies going. When did this happen? So does that mean I no longer have 100%? No, I'm still 100%. And apparently I'm now first in everything. I... okay. If you say so. Not sure how any of this stuff works, but I've just encountered apparently the next two strongest rivals, and I don't like that. Give me some weaklings. I like weaklings. The cravers can be a huge pain if you're not prepared, and I think we have to, to start being prepared, otherwise we'll regret it. Since we've seen this, let's send out a second probe just so we can pre-scout this entire area before we get into it. And that will also let us have a underbelly. So the battle front most likely will be on this side. And then our little escape hatch will possibly be on that side. Sounds like a good plan. Nothing is gonna happen to us. Nothing bad will happen. Certainly. No. Not on my watch. We see a lot of things here. Hmm. Strategic resources or 10% development. Minus 10% system development luxury cost. I have not done a whole lot of system development on anything. So let's take... I also have a lot of strategic resources, which I have not done anything with. Do I want to go for... Let's go for the industrialists. They're harmless. Raise the total amount of science produced per turn in the galaxy to 14,778. Now, I'm producing about 900, or about 1,000 per turn. So I have 8 allies, or not 8 allies, a total of 8 civilizations. So I'm basically average, slightly above average. And if I want to do this, that means everybody needs to double their scientific production. If I win, I get nothing. Absolutely nothing. When did all of this stuff happen? There weren't any economic crisis, as far as I can tell. Everybody's still happy. Pacifists are still winning. Any more new laws? I guess the way to, to use up this is pass new laws. Maybe we do this. Okay, let's do it. It's gonna give me a little more military people, but which I don't necessarily like. But you know what? At this point, I don't even care anymore. Because it looks like we're gonna have to fight somebody pretty soon anyway. Which is not a bad thing, since this game has been a little too quiet. Let's get some action, that's how, uh, that's how you generate the big bucks.
Why don't we start by colonizing a planet, and then we will start to spend some time on our ships. Is there anything else we want, really? Ship production, manpower don't need that. Straight up production bonus don't really need that right now because that's like a ten percent boost, which is very low. Influence don't need that. More happiness don't need any happiness. So once that's done, I think we start making big ships, big, huge ships, big ships. Light ships, medium and short. So these guys are closer range ships. No, wait. Everybody's a hold on. Let's see. Projectile energy. Hmm. I still don't understand what any of this stuff means. Oh, I see. Okay. So the command point costs us now three on, on those guys. So in the same fleet, you would be only to, to only be able to fit one of these ships in there. So they are more of your capital ships. So that means I also at some point have to start thinking about increasing command points. Which is most likely done somewhere up here. In this gigantic web of unknowingness. Uh, which one increases my production point? I mean command points. That one. We have to go for that one. But let's not do that right now. We have something more important. Gonna get perfect negotiation, and then come back to that because command points. It also gives me tanks. Everybody loves tanks. And I, like I said, I, I probably want to look through some of this stuff on my own time to figure out what I want to, which path I want to be taking. Is there any sort of specialty here? Not really. Don't need, again, don't need any happiness. Fertile, do I have fertile and... I do have one. Science is always good. This is also good. We still have some time before we need to worry about colonizing other planets. So let's do... <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm sitting next to Alien. We're both prisoners. Let's go for this. Because I feel like in the short run, science is more valuable than money. Or dust. But you could ask, well, you shouldn't keep all this dust sitting here. Because if you have them in the coffers, you're not doing anything with them. You should invest them on getting stuff done faster. And to that, my answer to you, my dear friend, is you're absolutely right. But I'm going to do nothing. Continue to do nothing. A lot of money here. Production transport network, strategic deposit. I have no strategic deposit anywhere on this planet. I feel like I'm running out of things to do in terms of building. The solution, the uniform solution to that is to start building ships. Okay, I have some sterile stuff. No, not sterile. Fertile is what they're looking for. Temperate. Eh. That's 50 science, which is better than nothing. Okay, let's go for it. I'm not ready to, to stop improving this particular system quite yet. Need a few more turns. And for you, gentlemen. Actually, hold on. If I have multiple resources, luxury resources, does that mean I get double the bonus? No, I don't think so. I think if whether you have one or two is irrelevant, you just get plus three. Because that would be kind of broken. I, th I okay. Let's try this. It doesn't do anything for me, but I want to find out what's level three. I might have to go to level two first before I can do that. Find out what level three is. 
and we'll do maybe more science. Okay, let's try this one. That's actually a lot of money. Should we buy it up? We'll wait for the modernization and then we'll use this planet with this star system as kind of a test case for buying stuff out using the money we have because we're getting a lot per turn. It'd be shame if it's just to sit there and do nothing. Maybe we go one more turn here just to see what happens when we finish this wonder. Buy three e systems. How do I buy systems by spending influence? How do I do that? Because I want to know. Can I do that as the tree people? I think I have to vine it up, right? I have no choice. So that's completely impossible for me to accomplish. I cannot buy systems. There's no way. Maybe there's a way. I just don't know about it. Maybe it's like I need to, you know, vine up one of my allies' systems and then buy it from him. That's how it works. Maybe. What is this? Okay, that's a vine ship. Do I have another vine ship coming? I'm not ready to go there yet. So why don't you? Mm, are you? How, how close are you? Five more turns. I'm not gonna make it. Let's then not bother with that. Let's get ready to boost over here because I don't see any minor planets. So maybe we can get away safely for a few turns. And to check for that, I'm gonna send somebody to explore. How many turns? Five turns, five turns. Let's go for this one because that's the most isolated. I feel like that's going to be the safest one to go to for now. Thank you. Very nice. All sorts of things are happening. Okay, you're done. If you're done, you know, let me send six turns. It's not great. It's much better if I just go over here. It's three turns for that. You guys are... You know, I can't... Here's the, the trouble. Okay, I can't leave. I can't leave. I have to continue with them because if I want to move in this direction, I need to make sure I can find things up very, very quickly. So we're going to go with this plan. For the other places, I just need to build more vine ships. In fact, when we finish with this wonder, the first thing I will do on this planet is to build a few vine ships. And then we'll continue with military ships. And then hopefully that will give us uh, some peace of mind. And we, we have to wait a little bit longer here. We're not ready for anything yet. What am I looking for? I'm looking for science. 1,000 science per turn now. I think that's not bad. What do you think? And I'm still winning the score battle, which is nice. But I'm not winning exponentially anymore. I'm just increasing about the same rate as they are. So that's a... Uh, that's okay, because they're cheating, remember? So I'm hoping once I get into a foothold here, that will start to, to speed up more quickly or once I get a foothold here, because I want all of these systems. Continue support. I can only officially support, that's fine. Continue to support the pacifist. This election is dumb. Yay! Something happened. And now I have some functional industrialists. Thank God! I hate when my industrialists are completely non-functional. I mean, that's all they can do. Getting schooled. I don't like the sound of that. Our 
friendship is something pure, isn't it? You know, why don't you next time when you come here, why don't you tell me a joke? How can that be a draw? I clearly decimated their entire system. You cheating, cheating bastards. Wait until I get my capital ship. Yeah, they... I need to stop them from generating all of those shuttles per turn. That is a nightmare and a half. And that's another reason why I wanted to have all my vine ships here as a group. So that we can colonize in three turns instead of five. It doesn't sound like much, but that's going to save me a lot of trouble later on. Okay, just go there, and you continue your path. Everybody go on their merry ways. What are you? I can't tell. Oh, that's, something's in hangar, okay. So, I don't actually remember why I built that thing. Maybe it's for science. Plus 10 from... Plus 16.9 from Intergalactic Technology Center, ITER, okay. I think I, sh I can tell what that thing does. Minus 10% cost on technology. So, is that for everything? If that's the case, it's not too bad. That's basically the same as plus 10% science production on my entire empire. Which I do in fact enjoy very very much. Yeah, let's stop thinking about building dumb things like this. More vine ships. One pair of vine ships first. Let's make... Th actually, we'll probably need to make three soon. And then we'll start building some of the fire ships. We may also think about some of this stuff. But right now it's not so important because they're on a counting basis. I'm producing a large enough amount of science such that it's not going to give me that much increase anymore. I don't think I have the correct... So this one is probably more useful because that will give me just a flat out 30. Well, this one is better now because it will give me 40. No, 50? I will get 50, I think. Yeah, 50 from this. And this gives me about 40. No. I have no anomalies anywhere, right? Yes, so this will only give me about 30. Okay. Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Guess we could... Uh, let's just all go there. Happy place. You, I need to send over with this group because I feel like I need at some point I will have to start exploring some of these guys. Okay, so vine ship starts next. You should be done next turn, right? Two more turns. Okay. Hamal is completely filled up because they're all freaking gas planets, and I am going to start <laughs> colonizing the gas planet. This is so bad. All right, which one's better? start with you, your money. You know, hold, hold on, let's start with the production one, and then the money one, and then the production one. God damn it. Is there something that allows me to put more people on gas planets later? This gives me trade companies. We may think about doing that. That gives me marketplace. We may also think about doing that. Autonomous materials, hold on. I finished this already, have I? No. Perfect, what? Oh, okay. So this first, and then perfect negotiations, and then construction. Okay. Luna Barks is very happy about this development. Well, since we have nothing better to do, is there... He's not following a fleet, don't worry. 
happiness is kind of useless for me too. So how about we pump stuff into more influence? I'm gonna bet on influence, maybe one day it will become useful for me. Always bet on influence. You're done. So if you're done, I'm gonna send you over. Cares a little for the God damn it. Of other races. I didn't want to meet you right now, but I, I've met you. Where did I meet you? Where was he? I... Hold on a second. I'm not seeing it. Where was he? I need to know. This is very important. Deneb is being colonized by somebody else. Hmm. We're starting to run into some neighbors, and I'm a little bit... How should I say it? I'm a little bit worried. Our score is very high, but we don't have the military yet. Mostly because we don't have any of the military technology that would support us getting really powerful ships. I don't want to be fighting somebody, just quiet at this moment. But it looks like we may not have much choice. I hope my ally have a strong military going. Um, and maybe we can, you know, fight together. That's how friends are. That's friendship in intergalactic space. Thanks for watching. See you next time.